lockdown day four and we're starting to run out of essentials. That means I'm gonna have to go to the supermarket. That also means I get to drive the car. Yes. Right, here we go, moment of truth. Yes. It is absolutely deserted. It's like being in some post-apocalyptic horror film. But I live in Stoke-on-Trent, so that's normal. I've just seen a load of highways agency vans and they're actually fixing the potholes. Is this what it takes for the entire country to be on lockdown to actually fix the fucking roads? This is really weird because the amount of traffic that's about, it's like it's two o'clock in the morning, not 20 past 11 on a Sunday morning. Turn off your cunt. It's only been three days since I last drove the car, but it's amazing how quickly I've started to miss it. Right now I'm traveling at 32 miles an hour, and this is as good as any ride at Disney World. That's less than two meters, you little pricks! I've just seen a security guard outside Lidl. How bad are things getting if people are going in panic buying clothes horses and MIG welders? So here we are, now pulling on to uh, Asda. What's it like? Not too bad, it isn't too rammed. I don't think they've got anybody on the door. This could be quick and painless. So I've just parked up. What's the one thing I've forgotten? Me fucking shopping list. Arrows on the floor. As there has turned into Ikea. Now we're meant to be keeping a minimum of two metres between each other, but the fucking scum who go out shopping in their dressing gowns aren't observing this. You see the arrow on the floor there? For some people, apparently that's a bit too complicated. And they've blocked the aisle so there's no way for me to get out. So from going shopping, it appears most people are taking this seriously. They're trying to practice social distancing as far as possible. But there are a few people, and these seem to be people who go shopping in their fucking pyjamas, the types of person who look like they haven't washed for a month and members of one particular religion for whom it's business as normal. They don't give a fuck about anyone but themselves. I hope they get coronavirus and fucking die from it. That was a bit harsh. I'm not hoping that thousands of people die. It would just be nice if they were a bit more courteous and took this a bit more seriously. Anyway, that doesn't matter now because I get to drive home. So clutch in, push the starter. Hey! Even when the roads are near deserted, I'm still stuck behind some prick doing 23 miles an hour. If you're from Stoke-on-Trent and you know someone who owns a silver Ford Focus, where the registration number ends RHU, please inform him that he drives like a cunt. I am really enjoying driving where there's virtually no traffic on the road, so when we come through this whole COVID-19 thing, can we just pretend it hasn't so people like me can go out and enjoy themselves? I think this is the one good thing to come out of this whole coronavirus thing, that when you do need to leave the house to get essential supplies, driving is much less stressful and much more fun. There's a guy here walking his dog and carrying a bag full of dog shit. And what's tragic is that's probably going to be the highlight of his day. Amazing. There's hardly a car on the road and still I'm stuck at a fucking red light. I'm out on my one permitted walk of the day. And back when I was a lad growing up in Norfolk, it was quite common to find pornographic magazines laying in hedgerows. But it appears that hedgerow porn has moved into the digital age because I've just found this, a pornographic DVD. So this is from 2004. Let's see if I recognise any of the names. Lindsay Dawn McKenzie, yes. Charmaine Sinclair, yes. Louise Hodd, yes. I know all these porn stars. Oh my God. Number five, Theresa May. Is that how she got to become Prime Minister? God, that's a porn film you don't want to see. Theresa May and Jacob Rees-Mogg going at it. There's a guy there with four huskies. Do you think he's had his sled stolen? So today I've learned that supermarkets haven't run out of food. Most people are adhering to social distancing, although there are still a few selfish fuckers who refuse to do it. I found that driving's much more fun when no one else is doing it. And if the internet goes down, I've still got some pornography to watch. As ever, stay safe, stay sane, and support the NHS.